Hey everyone, it's Robert. So I've gotten a lot of requests over the past couple of days to record a Yodu lineup video on Icebox. I've already made a video on Ascent, Bind, Split. So if you haven't seen those videos already, be sure to check them out after this one. Also, I just wanted to do a quick plug before we start here. I stream almost every single day on my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash robertrayhart underscore. I'm going to be playing a lot of Yodu, doing a lot of these lineups that I'm showing you guys in all these videos. So if you want to come out to that, the link will be down in the description below. Hope to see you guys there. Another note before I start showing you guys these lineups, you're going to want to defend them with your flashes and your guns because the enemy can see it if they get close enough to it and they can also hear it. So just keep that in mind while we're going over some of these lineups. You're gonna to wanna to disguise it with maybe like some of your smokes from your teammates, uh, definitely your flashes. I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure your teleporter is protected as you're throwing it out. So first we're gonna start with attack because Yodu is a duelist and he thrives on attacking. And then on the last half of the video, we'll go over defensive spots as well. So be sure to stick around for that. This first one is pretty simple. You just wanna walk into A main here as if you're attacking on A and then you know maybe flash yourself in before you push. And then along this box here, this one's gonna get you from about here and it's gonna get you all the way into back sight here. Just aim it roughly around the middle of this box. Doesn't really matter where you're standing. This one's pretty easy to hit. Just throw it there. It's gonna move all the way through and get you all the way into this deep corner back site. So let's say instead of getting deep into this corner on A, you wanted to get closer just outside of A site onto this little pocket right here. As you're pushing, just aim anywhere along this nest wall here. I usually aim about the middle. That's gonna push through. And get you lined up. I know those two might seem a little bit obvious, but the reason why I point them out is because you can get your teleport there without having to peek anything other than this first original angle. And if they're pushed up that far, then that's their mistake versus having to be all the way up and throwing it out here or up close. So this next one is probably one of the more precise ones on Icebox that I found. It's gonna get you from this A ramp cat area all the way into mid. And the teleporter is gonna end up right about here somewhere. The trick with this one is to catch the people rotating from B. I actually had someone get into game with me to see if this one was even worth showing you guys because you know, if they're pushing into here, how close do they have to be in order to see this teleporter? And for the most part, unless they like know what's going to be there because you used it in the round before, they have to be like almost here. I figured it was worth noting because when a lot of people retake A, they're not really like paying attention to this boiler area. And even though it's a little bit more situational, it's, uh, it's a cool lineup and I figured I'd show you guys. So as you're attacking onto A here, you want to line up with these three pipes, get right in the middle, aim in the middle of this platform here. This one's really precise, so it might take a few times to get the hang of it, but once you get the feel, you'll hit it every single time. And then on the bottom where it's showing where your teleporter is going to start moving from, the right line. If you look, there's also a line on the platform that you're on itself. Get it just a little bit to the right of that line on the platform. Just try to make it to where they're just barely not touching, just barely not touching. And then aim right about, that looks right. Throw it out. This one took quite a while to line up. It's gonna inch and get you right through into boiler. The last two I have for attacking A are really easy. This first one, you can literally just stand up here and throw it. And it's just going to get you back to sight. And then the second one is more unique, but also really easy to hit. So as you're pushing under cat here, just aim anywhere along this ramp. Super simple to hit. It doesn't have to be exact where I threw it down. It's going to get you into this corner. This next one is for if you're attacking mid, you're going to want to get in this corner and do it pretty quickly because you're kind of exposed to the boiler angle. Right when the round starts, you can walk up, flash, maybe even get a smoke down get into this corner and then aim just to the left of the edge of this box here. And that's gonna get you from mid all the way okay. under rafts onto A site. Time to jump. It's gonna go around. Get yeah. you right into this corner here. This next one is one of my favorite mid lineups on Icebox. With the route it takes, it's super protected. Not a lot of people are holding the angle. So it's gonna get you from here on mid into the back of yellow so you want to get right into this corner here and then aim 
just to the very bottom left of this yellow tape. Aim just to the left of it. Throw it out. Time to jump. It's gonna go all the way up. It's gonna go all the way through. And get you Here. back into yellow. And being this deep into the corner protects you from the kitchen angle as well. So this next lineup that I have for you guys is probably one that you'll have the most success with, at least the first couple times that you use it. It's gonna get you from here, about where the gate spawns at, all the way into here on the back of B site. And not a lot of people are holding that angle. You wanna stand right on top of this X in mid, and then just aim in the middle of this wall underneath tube, throw it out. And look where this one goes. You can TP to it at any time, but it stops about here. Yeah. Now you're in. Now you're flanking the people on B site and they have no idea. I tried to look for some plays in tube, but at the end of tube, there's like this little clip in the door frame and it stops the teleporter from going anywhere. All right, so let's get started with B site. I wanted to point something out with B site before we get started because the teleporter has the same hitbox as a normal character model and you have to crouch to go underneath this like i can't just walk i have to actually crouch it works the same way with your teleporter so if you throw it up against underneath green here like this it kind of stops for a second as if you were like standing up normally even though it's smaller so just pay attention to that as you're playing b site with yodu so this first lineup is going to get you from the gates all the way back into b site in this corner line up with this red caution tape sticker get right about in the middle of it or so and then you see this light aim just to the left of this light. It's gonna go all the way in, go underneath green. And that's why I like this one so much because it takes this right route instead of the left route. And it goes all the way through here instead of back through yellow. So now you're right behind them. The next lineup is from this corner here all the way back into yeah. deep snowman. The hard part is actually getting into this corner. You just flash yourself in. Get as deep as you can into this corner and then aim in between this black part on green and this line on this gray box. Anywhere in between. The more to the left you aim, the further left in snowman yeah. you're going to be. I usually aim it about here in the middle. It's gonna go all the way in. And now you're all the way back in snowman. I also found a pretty good flash that can combo with this teleporter. So let's say there's a guy actually playing in snowman. Like, you know, he's holding this angle. You could throw your TP out and then kind of pay attention to where your teleporter is on the map. And as it gets close to like this area, aim just to the left of this gray box, throw it out. And your flash bounces off this green and angles like into the sky here. And it actually flashes the guy in snow. So as he's flashed, you can TP behind him. He'll have no idea. This next one's pretty situational, but it can be really good when the time comes. So to do it, you just line up against with this box here. And then you see this middle line. You want to go just to the left of the second bar inwards. So if you have this yellow line, you have one, two, and then to the left of the second bar, just throw it out. You flash yourself in. goes in and it's gonna be right on the screen box at bombs point a default you hear them stick it you can flash in and he thinks you're still back yellow dead this next one's nice if you want to get the kitchen really fast just walk up to yellow here just put your face on the yellow box and get right in line with this first indent on the wall and then aim just to the left of this shadow here on yellow throw it out it's gonna go down this one's pretty precise, so it might take a try or two. It's gonna keep going and get you all the way underneath the kitchen. Your, your teleporter can't like levitate up above wraps here. So the only like long-term play you could get yeah. is into a belt. And then even then it's kind of a risky play. So the lineup for that a deep entrance is obvious. You would just throw it anywhere up against this wall. The play that I like a little bit better that I think might catch them off guard is if like right when the round starts, you can throw your TP out that way. And they're still pushing through a belt here. So they actually can't see your TP just quite yet. And then walk up, throw your flash here. The second it goes off, TP in. And then now you're going to get like at least one kill, maybe even two. Because they're going to swing and check this, this area the second they peek it. So once they, once they swing it once and peek it, and like they see nobody's there, they're not going to think anything of it. So your teleporter is still sitting there. They're pushing out like right now. They swing, they look right, they see nobody behind gate. 
So now you walk up, throw your flash, TP in. They still don't know you're here. In their head, they already checked it. And boom, one, two. You're probably going to get one and done here, but the goal is to get at least like one or two kills, maybe even three if your aim's good enough, and make it a worthy trade. Just be careful of the people playing heaven because the second you get a kill or two from here, the people playing heaven are definitely going to peek you. This next one that I have is if you're retaking A. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Ethos is a really popular clip of this play. But like, let's say the bomb is down on A, enemies push it onto site. This one's really easy to hit. There's really no lineup. You kind of just throw it in that general direction. So you throw it out here. And remember, you don't, you can wait for your TP to go in. You don't have to peek this and like bite this guy holding you here. The second it goes through, you're definitely going to want to flash this one. TP in. One, two, three, four. This next one is if you're defending from mid. I really, really like this one, but you can only really get away with it like once, maybe twice. So just be careful using it. But right when the wall falls in the beginning of the round, you can jump into this corner before they get through mid and start picking you. And it's going to get you from this corner all the way into their spawn. The more left you go, the more left it's going to end up coming through mid here. So if you aim a little bit more on this side of the box, it's going to get you like here or even like over here somewhere. But if you aim on the edge of the box, like right about here, it's going to get you all the way deep into their spawn. And I'll show you what that looks like. This next one is if you're playing from tube, it's going to get you from here all the way deep into the back of a entrance. So when the gate falls, you can walk in. It's, it's not that precise, honestly. So we're at this first set of blue lights. Time to jump. It's going to go all the way down. Get you all the way back here. You can also get to that same spot from playing down below outside of tube. It's not that hard to hit. Just get roughly around this area and then aim to the left half of this gray box, throw it out. And it's gonna get you into the same spot deep into A. When it comes to defending B and trying to get a flank off, it's a little bit more difficult. There's always some people playing through this corner here, but if they do like an A rush and you can get it down and then they decide, oh, we don't wanna play anymore, we wanna play B, your teleporter is probably gonna be in a good spot. So before the round starts, the gate's gonna be about here. Just get like in line with this corner here, aim to the left of the inside of this K. Throw it out. It's gonna go through garage and get you all the way deep into A. I also wanted to show you this retaking strategy for B site. It's kind of obvious, but but I feel like I don't see a lot of Yodos doing it whenever retaking B, so I'm gonna include it in this video anyways. As you're pushing through, before you peek yellow, just throw it against this wall here. And your teleporter is gonna go into the back of yellow. And as it's going in, you can even throw a flash. The second it goes off, TP in. It's gonna flash everybody in yellow. And you might be able to trade one or two kills. And now you have yellow control. Another one you can do is like, let's say it's a 1v1 or even a 1v2. And you know the last two guys or the last guy is playing behind yellow. And he's not peeking you. He's playing time. You can swing out and throw your teleporter against this box anywhere. It's not that exact. He's still playing yellow, so he won't see your teleporter pass by him. You know, maybe drop some footsteps, make him think that you're pushing up. Throw a flash. TP. Now you're green side. He still thinks you're pushing him from snowman. You can flank all the way around. And he's right there. I stream almost every single day on my Twitch account, twitch.tv slash jobberrayhart underscore if you want to come through to that. Those are all the plays that I have for you guys on Icebox. It's a pretty straightforward map, not too difficult to learn. Be sure to check out the other videos that I did on the other maps playing Yodu. I think you'll definitely enjoy them if you enjoyed this one at all. My next and final map that I have is going to be Haven. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that. I'm going to be making a ton of Valorant content besides just Yodu lineups. Drop a like if you enjoyed and leave a comment on what else you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video.